According to this XRP expert, E. Smitty, 10 million XRP, or $1 million per XRP, is equal to roughly $10 million. Speaking to the public, this individual claimed that 10 XRP would eventually be worth roughly $10 million. A leaked report indicates that more than 200 financial institutions are working with Ripple to introduce XRP-based payments, which today's video will confirm. The crazy part is that people are already using XRP to turn $100 into $1.4 million because they have previously held it. Now, in February 2024, their XRP has made them about $1.4 million, and this could be you guys because the next crazy pump, which will take XRP from just under $0.55 cents to over $500, $600, or $700 per XRP, is about to happen and it could happen faster than you think in the coming weeks. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor, but Judge Torres has publicly affirmed the news we just received, which is quite bullish. In essence, everyone is aware of the current Supreme Court appeal and the Ripple SEC case. The odd part, though, is that Judge Torres has issued a new document approving the usage of XRP for payments by all American banks and entities. We are currently at a pivotal point in time where important players will shortly accept your XRP. Indeed, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and numerous other international banks have formally declared their intention to accept XRP for credit card, mortgage, and loan purposes. As a result, these significant market participants are adopting XRP in its entirety and moving toward the XRP ledger. Before we get into the video specifics, it's crucial to remember that Ethereum recently fell below 2.5k, Bitcoin recently fell below 63k, and XRP, of course, has had a sharp rise, now trading at about 54c. Now that we have all of this information, let's go right into the video. I want to start with this video because I think it's very important. You may watch the breaking news video that the CEO of Ripple personally put here. However, Brad Cunningham states this, he states that banks, financial institutions, and payment providers are our clients. However, he adds that there is one more thing that isn't mentioned, governments and central banks, some of which we have already seen on Bloomberg. We've seen some central banks, including the Republic of Palau, the Republic of Montenegro, Brazil, South Africa, India, and several other nations formally announced that they will be creating a CBDC on the XRP ledger. This is another public interview on Bloomberg, but you should pay close attention because it's really fascinating. Let's play the video. With 95% of our clients being from outside the US and 40% of our payment flows taking place in the Asia-Pacific area, we see our business as a global one. Once more, banks, financial organizations, and payment processors are our clients at Ripple. To make these transactions possible, we use the XRP coin and build and use the XRP ledger. It's crucial to remember that Ripple, the company, views all of these banks and financial organizations as its clients, even though some individuals might be unsure of which is which. We consider our company to be an international firm. Now for the really crazy part. The governments of the Middle East and Dubai, the wealthiest nations and cities in the world, formally decided to accept XRP. One of their former global heads of infrastructure innovation at Ripple actually met at one of their economic summits to discuss how they could integrate XRP infrastructure and the actual digital asset into their financial institution's payment systems. Given that everything happened in real time and was caught on camera, this is absolutely amazing. I'll play the video for you to enjoy since it's really important. Buying, selling, and generating rapid profits are the only reasons why many people use cryptocurrencies. Does using cryptocurrencies to make quick money impede their development? Establishing a marketplace is essential. At the moment, between 150 and 200 exchanges are trading XRP globally. Our intended use case is not shallow trading by individuals, which is what many of these exchanges do. Our goal is for advanced institutions to use XRP as a financial asset as a means of bridging the gap. So, is this harmful or hurtful? We are now evaluating the problem, but it produces a lot of noise, which is definitely not what we want. 
For instance, institutional investors accounted for the majority of XRP sales during the most recent quarter. As this shifts from retail to institutions, we will begin using it for wholesale financial purposes, which is when the pivotal moment will occur. Listen to what he said now, it wasn't even intended for you, if you don't think that $1 million for XRP is feasible. This is actually the head of global infrastructure for Ripple. These organizations don't want you to possess any XRP at all. They're trying to grab that XRP out of your grasp. They don't think you're worth a dime, therefore they want to tear it from your hand and put it in their pocket. The idea here is that they don't want this to be for retail because that's how much they don't want you to make in profit. They are attempting to limit retail, but this is exclusively institutional and should not be in the hands of retailers. We've been discussing this for a while now, and we've been stressing the benefits of keeping your cryptocurrency in a cold wallet rather than a hot wallet. It's a bad idea to have it on exchanges, instead, you should go to the cold wallet. However, we also need to point out that the SEC, the people who sued and are attempting to appeal, are pleading with XRP to settle the lawsuit with them. As you can see, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission will meet with Ripple in a summit meeting on October 17th, I believe, so there's a lot of bullish news about that as well. Finally, we want to draw attention to the ISO 222 platform and framework, the fact that XRP is a part of that framework, the Global Consensus Framework, which is a decentralized global network of banks and payment providers that use Ripple's distributed financial technology to provide real-time messaging, clearing, and settlement of financial transactions. The Ripple Vertical Consensus Algorithm, RPCA, Layer 1, and BFT. I'd like to end this video now. But before I do, please click the like button, follow our channel, and share this video. Because I believe it's so important for you all to understand the true cost of XRP, I want to end this video right here. The cost of XRP is not in the hundreds, not in the hundreds, not in the hundreds as a whole, not in the thousands, but rather in the tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands, and possibly even millions of dollars. This may sound impractical, and it is, to a certain degree, but this is where things start to make more sense. Jimmy Valley, the managing director of Velho Capital, a significant venture capital firm, thinks that once XRP is regulated and used as the global bridge currency, its value may be somewhere between $10,000 and $35,000. This is crazy, and it happened in public. He is going to provide those figures with you in real time, so don't complain, Mr. Crypto Geek, you keep saying things without the source. Velho Capital's managing director will now verify such figures, which vary from $10,000 to $35,000 per XRP. Let's play the video. Naturally, this marks the end of the video. The video will be available for you to hear before it concludes. I hope peace prevails and I'll see you all again soon. It may be fixed in several ways, but it could also be fixed by imposing excessive restrictions. But we know it's coming, don't we? I believe that the global situation is such that we will require a solution like an XRP for liquidity purposes sooner rather than later, so when I say imminent, I would be shocked if, in a quarter, we are actually still involved in the SEC litigation. Then, the question arises, what would happen if this problem were miraculously solved? What happens to the price? Projecting that it is a double-digit number is simple. Therefore, I believe it instantly soars to $10 or even $20. The possible agreement between nations and central banks to use XRP as a global bridge currency intrigues me. One kind of fiat could be exchanged for another with the use of this neutral asset. This possibility returns us to our earlier debate if it comes to pass. It must cover a sizable amount of the entire investment. Additionally, I believe you're looking at a range that XRP would agree upon. This would happen right away, and each coin would be worth between $10,000 and $35,000. Additionally, our lives may be similar or distinct.